Just below Palm Beach is a place called Broward County. Home to Florida legends and rappers both new and old, a gang war within Broward has left multiple young men. I ain't gonna cap. Let's be real, man. I don't know. Florida motherfuckers might get mad at me if I say this shit. But the reason why niggas out of state know about Broward County is because of Kodak. He the one that put Broward County on the map. I just wanted to put that shit out there so niggas can know. Kodak is the reason why y'all niggas known and brought. And dead, even taking the lives of three parents. A rivalry between rappers on the rise and the ones left behind would seemingly end after the Broward Sheriff's Office I be smooth, blood. A takedown charge in a Broward County gang with eight murders, over 12 attempted murders, and enough other shit to bury them under the prison. What's up, everybody? It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with There's me. Nigga in this video, I'm gonna be covering the war in Broward County. With Kodak Black becoming the face of Florida, many would assume he's right. as untouchable in Broward as the president in the White House. But the same can't be said for some of Kodak's closest associates, who've allegedly been involved in a back and forth battle, ending in prison and death. Kodak's fame would cast a shadow over the other side, but with the sheriffs announcing a new RICO indictment, the other side is now getting the fame they sought. November 13th, 2024. That shit is crazy. Once, once niggas start get to going to jail and shit, like that be the fucked up part. Niggas be trying to rap, go up, do this shit. Niggas don't listen to that shit. But as soon as a nigga get to going to jail for the shit, oh yeah, that's when everybody gonna fuck with him. It's like, damn, y'all don't fuck with the niggas till they crash out. Then y'all be like, damn, I fuck with folks. It's too late. He crashed out already. The last time these niggas down, they're going to crash out even if y'all is fucking with them. I don't feel bad, bro. The Broward County Sheriff's Office announced eight members of the Dania Hot Boys had been arrested after a month-long investigation. I thought you just said these niggas got their fame. Oh, you talking about fame through the Rico? You gotta be talking about fame, cause I, I I don't know who the fuck none of these niggas is, bro. I ain't gonna capture you. I never I never heard of. Maybe they known in Florida or some shit, but I know they ain't no rappers, no known rappers. They ain't get no fame off this shit enough. Nation following a string of murders dating back to 2021, a 16 year old would be the ninth person charged and the only one not eligible to be executed as the gang, like I said, is being held responsible for eight murders in Damn. 12 attempts. Two faces would stand out amongst the mugshots. 27-year-olds Trayvon Key and Sigmund Brown, who were more commonly known as the rappers HMT Trey and Liberia Sig. Both rappers were from Liberia, a small neighborhood in Hollywood, Florida made up of only 12 streets. HMT would originally stand for Hollywood Money Team, but after this indictment, it needs to stand for Hit My Target, because in this RICO, no money was made, only bodies were dropped. Now, Liberia and Dania B. Like, these niggas, why do y'all just go kill niggas for free? Like, like niggas. Like, come on, bro. It's, it's like me personally. I personally just feel like, man, it's not even about killing a nigga, bro. In my opinion, bro, killing a nigga is like, bro, the easiest shit you could do, bro. I ain't gonna capture you. Like, I know so many motherfuckers that's... They regret it. You feel me? So it's like, bro, that shit ain't shit. It's about motherfucking, can you handle the consequences of your actions? Will you be okay with spending your life in prison if you get caught about that shit? That's the, that's the main thing with it. So that's why I'm not killing nobody. I'm not going to go... Because it's like, bro, I'm not trying to sit in jail for no shit, bro. I'm not going on my way to kill a nigga. I would kill a nigga in self-defense. That's why niggas be like, man... If a nigga try me, I say, bro, listen, if a nigga trying to kill you, bro, you got to kill them when they trying to kill you, bro. You can't be one of those niggas that the nigga almost kill you, and now you trying to go back to go kill this nigga. Like, nigga, why wasn't you ready to kill this nigga when he was trying to kill you, bro? That's how I look at it. Like, if you can't kill a nigga with, with a motherfucker trying to kill you, bro, it's no point of going out your way to go kill a nigga because you just going to fuck up your life if you get caught. That's how I look at it, but other motherfuckers might look at it differently. And if no one ain't trying to kill you, then you don't need to be going to go kill nobody. Beach border one another, and many believe law enforcement got it wrong as the eight alleged Dania Hot Boys 
are really from Hollywood, where DHB stands for them Hollywood boys. This small difference in neighborhoods would also be behind the very beef that started the war. Kodak Black affiliate Psycho Bob is the face of Dania Beach, and that's a hard face to forget. Even harder for HMT Trey and Liberia Sig. Sight can be seen on camera in the infamous mall video from 2021 as Trey, who was off camera, attempts to confront him. Sight would. I ain't gonna cap, bro. A nigga speaking on your mama, bro. Niggas gotta get to whooping ass in that bitch, bro. What? Nigga is no, unless niggas was scared. Was niggas scared? Cause they ain't gonna capture you. Just, it's like, it's not even gonna be like, motherfucker. I don't even care if I get my ass beat, bro. I just gotta hit a nigga inside their mouth for just doing that shit, bro. It's just like certain shit, bro. It just, you gotta hit a nigga in their mouth, bro. Hopefully you don't get your ass beat. Hopefully you could, you could continue hitting them niggas up. Keep on beating them niggas ass. But at least you hit a nigga in the mouth. So they can so they can know what's gonna happen if they talk about somebody mama, bro. But let a nigga say that shit, that shit kinda crazy if you ask me. I ain't gonna lie to you. With this Trey's dead mother to his face, words that would later come back to haunt him. Six months before they ran into each other at the mall, 39-year-old Misty Hopkins, Trey's mom, was gunned down in front of her business in Miami Gardens. The vicious shooting left her shot multiple times dying in broad daylight. Damn. Only weeks after Trey's mother was killed, Psycho Bob would be shot in a triple shooting in Fort Lauderdale. He'd take the Instagram denying he'd been shot and laughing at his ops who thought he died. Say cheese had you tripping. Say cheese had the ops tripping too. Ops said they was smoking on me. Who the fuck y'all smoking, man? Smoking on me, you better smoke milk. Who the fuck smoking on Psycho? Who gonna smoke a Psycho? Who gonna roll up something that called Psycho? A bitch ain't finna smoke no joint called Psycho. You must be dumb. Dumb ass shit, man. You smoking a Psycho. How you smoking a bitch that's walking? Nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong with his body. But you smoking on me? Come on, man. Smoke, smoke dick. Two months later, 53-year-old John. Yeah, y'all can't be out here saying you smoke a nigga, bro, and the nigga still alive, bro. Like, come on, bro. That shit don't even sound right. Jerry McCabe would die. Jerry, who went by the nickname Chink, can be seen in a photo from 96 during his time inside Florida State Prison. Chink was the father of 25-year-old Jared McCabe, who's more commonly known as Hatch, and one of the eight men indicted. With his father killed, Hatch would take the Twitter saying, I lost my old boy. I never imagined having to bury my Damn, all these, like, what's going on, bro? Like, all these motherfuckers' parents keep on getting killed, bro. Like, why? Th this the most I heard a nigga's parents dying in, in, like, gang wars and shit, bro. Like, all the other videos we react to, like, it's, like, rare if a parent motherfucker get killed. Like, damn, that three niggas just talk about their parents just got killed in this shit. Like, what the fuck going on in Florida, bro? Y'all ass tweaking out there. Y'all ass wildin'. My daddy at the age of 21 and having to step up and fill his shoes. Damn, I'm sorry, Pops. I promise I'm going to get them back again, again, and again. Hatch would then tattoo Baby Chink on his forehead and blood red. Three months later, Florida rapper Wiz the Wizard would be found dead in front of an abandoned home. Wiz, an associate of Kodak, had fell out with Kodak and was going back and forth with Psycho Bob at the time of his death, leading to Reddit rumors as to who was behind his murder. Yeah, I remember the internet tried to tried to say, oh, the nigga was found chopped up and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? But that shit was cap, what I heard. That, that, that shit was cap. But everybody was trying to say that shit, man. I'm like, that shit wild as hell. That shit did happen. Only days later, Psycho Bob and HMT Trey would face off in the mall. Fast forward to April of 2022, 27-year-old James Hardwick would be arrested and charged with the murder of Misty, HMT Trey's mom. While not much is known about James, he himself is a piece to the puzzle as he can be seen in Wiz the Wizard's music video, Shooting Guard. Clearly an associate of Wiz, 
The music video was posted a month before Trey's mom was killed. That same year, Psycho Bob would drop a song titled Step Daddy. Let's put it good, but a head be a mackin'. That's the art mama. Oh yeah, bitch, I smashed it. I don't beat a son ass. Let's do the step daddy. Psych would claim to have had sex with a woman. Hey, go cap to you. It low key sound like he was spitting in that song. We might have to go, we might have to go check that song out. I ain't gonna bap to you. Woman named Celeste, who just so happened to be Liberia's six mom. The song was about Psych being six step daddy which would lead to a back and forth on Instagram that ended when Sight posted to his story. I don't care what a nigga post, you can't top a nigga fucking your mama, boy. That is real. Now, if a nigga fuck your bitch, you gonna wanna beat your bitch ass, ain't it? So go beat your mama ass. You feel me? If your, if your, if your bitch fight, fucking a nigga you don't like, y'all go beat that bitch ass all you. I ain't gonna bap to you, bro. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not finna, I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. Real deal, bro. Listen, I tell you this shit. A real nigga to real nigga, bro. Some niggas look at their life. They have, they they look at things differently when they go through shit. I watched my mama get her ass beat. You feel me? So I just decided I don't want to never do no shit like that because I didn't like to see my mama get, get her ass beat as a kid. So I told myself as a kid, this program, like, I ain't gonna never be like a nigga like that. So I ain't gonna beat on women, you feel me? Then at the end of the day, why you being a bitch ass, bro? Like, just just let the let the hoe go. The bitch a hoe, a hoe go be a hoe. You trying to risk your 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 freedom, get a little domestic violence charge over a hoe, bro? Like 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 I tell niggas, bro, my freedom is worth a lot, my nigga. I'm not risking that shit, killing a broke ass nigga, being a whole ass bitch ass. It's just certain shit a nigga, I, I just feel ain't worth it. Like, I'm just mature enough to know, like, man, I ain't finna go kill a broke-ass nigga to risk my freedom. I'm not finna, I'm not finna beat a whole-ass bitch ass risking my freedom. Like, come on, bro. What the fuck I finna risk my freedom for for these motherfuckers? All you niggas. But if a nigga fuck your mama and your mama don't like, and you don't like that nigga, go beat that whole ass, dog. A nigga can go fuck a bitch baby mama, old lady, whatever. You can't talk to a nigga fucking your mama. I don't care what you do. You can do a thousand gangster shits and nigga fuck your mama. You, you, I mean, he ain't bapping. Yeah. Is he really bapping? Hell no, nah, bro. If a nigga fucks your mama, he fucks your mama, bro. What can you say while a nigga said they fucked your mama, bro? Even though, like, man, yeah, your mama is a dope, but a nigga that's in tour with you fucked your mama? You gotta, you gotta fuck his mama. Like, yeah, you could kill this nigga. But you killed this nigga because he fucked your mama. How that shit was sound, nigga? You gotta go fuck his grandma. His auntie. Fuck it. Have a threesome with his mama, his auntie. A foursome. Mama, auntie, grandma. On game. Fuck up the game now. Now folks go down. Yeah, I had your grandma licking my balls while your mama was sucking my dick. Nigga, fuck is you talking about? Like, 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 you do shit like that, bro. Yo, yo, yo. Well, how can you beat that? That's your mama. You can't mock that coochie, boy. A nigga could have gave you a little. Liberia Sig wasn't the only target of the song, as Psycho Bob would take it a step further when he said, I be geeking, I be rolling, I be sticking. Heard a nigga was about 50, he got hit up with them switches. Heard a was about 50, he got hit up with them switches. It's alleged Psych was now dissing Hatch's dad, who was 53 at the time of his death. So in total, Psych dished Trey's dead mom to Trey's face, dropped a song about smashing Sig's mom, and dissed Hatch's dead dad in the same song. Now remember when I said Psych's words would come back to haunt him? While well, inside of a federal prison, Psych would learn that his 68-year-old mother Dorothy Smart, who was known as Dee Dee, was gunned down in front of her home on September 23rd, 2023. I tell niggas, hey, I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. What you put out is what you receive, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. You 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 put out that type of shit, bro. Like that that that's what you gonna receive. Like niggas niggas don't understand that shit, bro. Everything everything that you do gonna come back, bro. You feel me? When it's gonna happen, I don't know, bro. That's why I just try to live. You feel me? I don't do no fucked up shit. Don't do nothing to someone that you don't want to be done to you, bro. 
I ain't gonna bap to you. That's how I really live, bro. Like, I don't, I don't do nothing that I will not want no one done to me, bro. That's why I ain't gonna cap to you. I that that that's really what how I move, bro. Lots of niggas out here, they 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 don't want shit done to them, but they'll do it to other motherfuckers because they don't respect them. But I feel like it's boundaries to this shit. Like, nigga, y'all out here sliding on niggas' parents? Come on, bro. No one wants their parents dead. Yo, yo, yo. No one wants their parents to get killed because of their street violence. So why just like like have an unwritten rule like Nigga, it, back, back, back in the day, nigga, you not supposed to even do no shit like that. But now niggas out here killing parents and all that shit, bro. Leave your peoples out that shit, bro. It, that's y'all street beef, gang. Like, y'all shouldn't even do that. Y'all should at least have enough respect to respect each other's parents. To like, I ain't, we ain't gonna get them involved. Because you won't want your parents involved. A picture posted to Facebook would read, Someone just emptied the clip on Psycho Bob's mom. Now this is where everything comes together. Broward County sheriffs have charged HMT Trey, Liberia Sig, and two other men named Hot Rod and Rico with the murder of Psycho Bob's mom. Damn. Immediately following her death, Lil Hatch would troll site with a post on Instagram saying, I heard a lady was about 50, got hit up with them switches. Hatch would even have stepdaddy playing in the post as he was now dissing back for sight dissing his dead dad. That's how it always go, bro. Like, if you really look at if, if if you really look at it, bro, you really look at it, gang, lots of them niggas, lots of them niggas end up getting to like say the same thing. Every nigga that damn near dissed the nigga, bro, and did some shit, guess what, bro? Later down the line, them niggas always got to do the same shit back to them. Like, if you really look at every nigga that did some wild ass shit, bro, eventually the same shit happened to them. And then the, the shit that niggas, that he was, that they was just saying about other motherfuckers, other motherfuckers are saying about them. It's just niggas be so cocky, they think, oh yeah, it ain't gonna happen to me. No one is not special. But that isn't all. HMT Trey has been charged with killing Wiz the Wizard, an alleged act of revenge for the murder of his mother. Liberia Sig would be charged with accessory after the fact for his role in Wiz's murder, and both men would face a charge for using a cell phone to facilitate the killing. These charges would allege Trey shot Wiz before. Come on, bro. Like, 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 niggas. Niggas, bro. It's already so many motherfucking cameras all around, all around this motherfucker, and you making it easier by. Listen, if you go to go kill someone, bro, you shouldn't have no phones around, bro. No text, no nothing. I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. You just need to pull up to their crib, bro. So niggas are over though when you say, oh yeah, I'm finna come over to the No, pull up to their crib. Do, 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 do. Knock on their door. We gotta talk. Turn off all the phones, bro. On game. Like, that's how you really gotta be. Niggas think, oh yeah, you overdoing it. You is not overdoing it, my boy. This is real life, bro. Your ass is going to go straight to jail, bro. Them niggas know. If, listen, I tell niggas, bro, if you if you don't want motherfuckers to know something, don't put it in your phone. Let, let, let's start there, bro. Because listen, it can get found. Like, if someone really, really want to get that shit that's out that phone, they can. So always remember, <coughs> if you don't want someone <coughs> to know about... <coughs> Know about some shit, don't have it in your phone. And if you ain't committing no crimes or nothing, nine times out of the ten, bro, you feel me? They 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 might not even go through it because you ain't doing no real major shit. But now your ass out here really doing a whole bunch of shit, bro, and you get arrested and they go through your phone. Oh yeah, you cook. Cook. Or dumping his dead body with Liberia Sig. So how did detectives put all this together? Through investigating another shooting, they'd arrest Gerald Charles, aka Hot Rod. A search warrant would give the approval for a cell phone extraction, which located a Telegram group chat between 12 members of the DHB gang, which is also known as Grand Mafia. They'd locate messages conspiring to commit murders, even messages in which members said they'd been camping 10 hours before spotting color money red. red? A 21-year-old rapper from Lauderdale oh, yeah, is a yeah, member of Lauderdale Kill Babies and has ties to Kodak Black. 
A Grand Mafia member said to crush him on Telegram, and four minutes later, Red was shot at. Grand Mafia would attempt to kill Red three different times, shooting up a house and two cars. Each time, Red survived, but innocent bystanders were shot, including a woman and a- I ain't gonna cap. It's crazy, because niggas would think, oh yeah, you getting shot, a nigga gonna cool out. Bo, a nigga get shot, bro. They feel like motherfucking Deadpool in this bitch now. They really feel like they unstoppable. Like, I ain't gonna cap to you. Like, that, that's the crazy part with niggas, bro. Niggas get locked up. They, oh, yeah, bro. Woo, woo, woo. I, like, they get locked up, get a second chance. And then they, 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 they do the same shit because they feel, like, untouchable now. Like, oh, yeah, I just got, I got away with it, bro. They just let me go. Same thing with getting shot, bro. Niggas get shot and survive. Oh, yeah, bro. Nigga, man, I'm surviving, nigga. And then they get that mindset, and they end up getting cooked eventually. And a five-year-old girl. Red would survive each attempt until finding himself arrested um, on an unrelated murder charge. Be nice parents, Detectives man. would identify Liberia Sig as the leader mm-hmm. of DHB slash Grand Mafia, with HMT Trey as the co-leader. They'd also break down a list of emojis that were direct links to murders used by both men on social media. The snake emoji referred to 26 CJ, whose real name was JV on Ross. The 22 year old was one of Kodak's artists and allegedly played a role in Wiz the Wizard's death by snaking Wiz. After Wiz was killed, CJ could be seen on live with HMT Trey with a video of CJ and Wiz playing in the corner. CJ would call himself King Cobra, meaning he took pride in being the biggest snake and snaking people out. Bro, you see? Like, nigga, you... And niggas be respecting that. that, that that's some whole shit. That, that, that's some whole shit, bro. I ain't gonna bow to you. And it's like, bro, if you being around a nigga that's snaking niggas out, bro, you was a dumbass. Because you shouldn't have no snakes around you because... Once a snake, always a snake. Depending on the situation, he'll snake your ass out too. Just always remember that shit. I ain't trying to have no snake niggas around me, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. If a motherfucker willing to backdoor they homies for me, oh yeah, they can most definitely backdoor them if I'm really trying to do that type of shit. But, motherfucker, I would never let that nigga be around me, be inside my group, because folks ass a snake. You feel me? Yo, yo. For that... He was found shot to death in a burning car in 2023. Following his death, those close to Wiz would mourn him, essentially confirming CJ played a role in his death. The wizard emoji referred to Wiz, while the blood drop emoji referred to Zone 10 Blood, real name Amon Simmons. He was a part of the same gang as Wiz, and after Wiz was killed, Blood posted to his story saying, Snake me. Less than a year later, the 23-year-old was shot multiple times after allegedly being set up by a female. The top Damn. arrow emoji referred to another Zone 10 member. That's why, boy, you don't fuck with these hoes, boy. These hoes be getting niggas gone, bro. I'm stressed high. And Marlo Top. Real name Wayne Smith. The 31-year-old was shot and killed while standing outside of a parked car. Hatch and Liberia Sig are both charged with killing him. The granny emoji refers to Dorothy Smart, Psycho Bob's mom, and the runner emoji refers to Red, who was able to survive every time they tried to kill him. So not only was Grand Mafia killing, they were trolling and leaving a trail of evidence for detectives to find. But it was one specific murder that broke open this whole case. Back in- and you see that that that's you see, they be thinking they got away with the shit. Because they be letting the shit go on, not even knowing they just building that case up, building it. It's fucked up. Niggas just be dying and shit while they building that case up, but they gotta build that shit up, you feel me? So, like, it's crazy. Like, if they would have done and tried to stop these niggas, them mamas and shit wouldn't have died. But if they would have got those niggas too early, they would have got out. And them mamas, damn, they still would have died. So, either way, you feel me? You know how that shit be. Back in January of 2024, a quadruple shooting outside of a Best Buy left 17-year-old Terrence Farrington dead. Known as TJ, he was a star football athlete, but was also known as a member of Money Gang and could be seen on Instagram Live living a life different from what was portrayed on the news. 
Let me know why you flagging. You listen to the little yabbing shit. Tell me why you flagging. You know why I be how you see me at the mall, you ain't do shit. You just be flagging. You showing guns and shit that you don't, that's not even yours. It's not even yours. He said, you showing a gun that's not even yours. Niggas do that shit. I ain't gonna, niggas always do that shit. Niggas down there said pictures of guns, bro. Like, bro, y'all always be out bad with it, bro. But it's crazy. Like, the news do be showing that shit. Like, bro, they be looking like the goodest kids ever. Then you be like, boy, what the fuck? You see the videos that they post? You, boy, this nigga was really out here doing game banking ass activities. It's alleged TJ was spotted by Sig with someone who Sig mistook as color money red. So Sig opened fire, striking a total of four people and killing TJ. Damn. Detectives believe Sig used a Zestafa Draco pistol that had been used in multiple murders and shootings. Detectives also recovered telegram messages from Kavaris saying Sig had the Drake during a double attempted murder. Sig, Kavaris, and Hot Rod would all be charged with killing TJ. Sig's fingerprint would be lifted off a vehicle connected to TJ's shooting, and the investigation brought light to every other shooting they'd been involved in. So essentially, the case began and ended with Sig, as the first shooting in the case dates back to October of 2020, when Liberia Sig allegedly shot at Psycho Bob's mom. She obviously survived, only to be killed at a later time, but this would be the first documented shooting that started the war. Damn. That would mean DHB slash Grand Mafia were the first to cross the line by targeting a family member, resulting in Trey's mom being killed, Hatch's dad being killed, and Sykes' mom being killed. All in all, them Hollywood boys, aka Grand Mafia, are being held responsible for murdering 23-year-old Wiz the Wizard, 68-year-old Dorothy Smart, 17-year-old TJ, 31-year-old Marlo Top, 24-year-old Antoine Dobard, 21-year-old Terrence McKenzie, 23-year-old Ronaldo Donner, and 17-year-old Johnny Henderson. On top of that, they've been hit with 12 attempted murders, weapons, and even intimidating slash harassing others by celebrating murders on Instagram. The list of charges and punishments is so extensive, you might as well consider the entire gang gone at this point. And while this case may take years to resolve, the punishment will be just as extreme as the crimes. Now, Florida is one of the few states that has a state RICO. There is also no parole in the state of Florida. The fact that they may be facing death means the only way out of that is to take a plea for a life sentence. And with no parole, a life sentence in the state of Florida means you have to die. Now these rappers were beefing with Kodak affiliates, have diss Kodak in songs, but one thing that separates him from them is they don't have Kodak money. Most likely this entire gang is gonna be represented by public defenders, which means they they're cook. all most likely gonna be They're cooked. <laughs> that basically, basically, bro, they are cooked. And I, and I tell niggas this shit all the time, like, bro, if you don't get no money on, you don't need to be in the streets, man. You don't, you don't need to. You don't need to, bro, because it's like shit get real, man. Depending on what state you in, bro, you will still get locked up for illegal guns. So you still need to have that money on, bro. You need to have money on regardless, bro. You, you got to, bro, because if you don't, you're going to be cooked. If I didn't have money, they would have took my gun card. I wouldn't have been able to bond out. They gave me a $10,000 D bond. So, that I mean, I had to put the $1,000 down. Like, all that shit, bro. Niggas be cooked, bro. Like, niggas be sitting because they don't got no bond, bro. I ain't gonna capture you. And it be crazy because dumb ass niggas be like, man, niggas be really be up in that bitch. Boy, them niggas can't afford to pay their bond. That's why they be up in that bitch. Some niggas don't be getting bonds, but that's because they ass keep fucking up found overly guilty and sentenced to fucking forever but rest in peace to all the victims involved yeah that's that yeah they, they cook they don't got that money on for that lawyer they cook man just say goodbye to him man that's all it is to it
if you ain't fucking with this video, but I know you fucking with this video because you watching this shit right now. I know y'all ass gonna fuck with another motherfucking video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any content like this. The 